welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm gonna tell you all about my beauty pageant experience back in 2013 as you can see here a long time ago i entered a beauty pageant and i thought it was a nice idea to tell you a little bit more about it i thought it was a nice idea to make a video like a little bit of a story time to tell you about the beauty pageant maybe you want to enter for a beauty pageant or you are just curious you are all welcome here if you are new here on my channel i would love for you to subscribe it's free and then you can see all my new videos also don't forget to like this video Follow me on Instagram and now let's get started. First of all, I didn't write anything down. I'm just rambling around. So um, I hope you can follow my story because sometimes I'm quite chaotic. I go everywhere. But um, yeah, let's just start with the beginning. Before I entered uh, a beauty pageant, I was already busy with some modeling in the Netherlands. I really liked it, I really liked to model and I saw on TV a lot of beauty pageants and I thought okay hey that's something that uh, I really like. It was looking also fancy with glitz, glam, uh, the hair, makeup, I was thinking yeah this is something that I also want to do. In the Netherlands pageants are not really famous or popular, they are quite unknown I would say. It's not like in the USA that uh, there's a lot of different pageants. Of course, the Netherlands is also a really small country. So I was looking on the internet what pageants are out there, uh, what would I like to do. So uh, that's where I started my journey. Then I found on the internet a beauty pageant from the east of the Netherlands, where I am from. So on the internet there was like a form I would fill in with my name, my height, uh, my ambitions, school, etc. And there was all different kind of pageants for the south of the Netherlands, west, uh, north, and of course the east where I am from. So I entered and they invite me to come over on the casting day. So they asked to wear something white with, I think it was a jeans that I have to wear. Of course you have to wear heels by the pageants and the bikini. I remembered I was a little bit nervous about the bikini, but uh, before the day was there, I was already watching a lot of YouTube videos from Miss Universe, Miss USA, how they walked down the runway, how they did the interview and that kind of things. So I'm the kind of person that beforehand looks everything up on the internet. <laughs> I just love to be prepared for uh, what I'm going to do. So I just looked up a lot of the things and I just practice a lot my walk. Of course the model walk is a lot different than the pageant walk. The pageant walk is a little bit more sexy I would say, more the hips, the poses and the model walk is of course quite stiff and not that extravagant. On the day itself my mom came with me which I was really grateful for because I was never go to a pageant casting before so uh, that was really nice to have her there. So while I came there there was only one girl I know and the other girls were all new to me and it was really nice to make some uh, new friends and to chat with all the other girls. It was a really nice atmosphere there was not like fights or anything like that we, they were also friendly to each other and supportive which was really nice. So the first round was uh, a casual round. You wear your white blouse or t-shirt with your jeans. You introduced yourself, uh, what school did you go to, what age, where you live, what are your interests. And we also had to walk a little bit, which I really love. I love to walk the catwalk. Um, I'm a dancer, I always danced in my life, so I just love that. After they gave some instructions about how you have to walk the catwalk and in bikini, there, that was the part which I was a little bit nervous for because of course you are not standing every day in your bikini for a lot of juries. So yeah, I was kind of nervous for that. But I just said to myself, okay, you know, this is a one chance opportunity. Go for it. Just uh, put out your shame, your um, anything you're worried. So I was standing there in my bikini and I was quite nervous, but okay, I thought this is my time to shine. I'm just smiling posing and all that kind of things. All the rounds we was go I think with five six girls at the time and we just have to walk around and pose in the bikini and then the last round was the interview round. 
Tis was also quite nervous because she was all alone in the room and not with the other girls. If you are with more girls, I think you feel a little bit more powerful and you don't feel like all, all eyes are on you. So uh, when it was the interview time, I was sit there alone on the chair and they asked me a, a few different questions. They asked me a few questions in Dutch and after a few in English. So after the auditions, I was relieved, I was feeling relaxed, but then came the time, of course, that they told us which girls went through. I think on the casting day, I'm not sure, there was around 50 girls maybe, and 15, 20, they went through. So I was so, so happy when I went through, and I was so excited to start my new journey in the pageant world. So before the actual pageant night, we had some practices all together and they told us what we uh, were going to do. Also, they told us it was really important to get yourself out there on social media, to promote yourself, to make a Facebook account, Instagram or whatever. Also, what I did, I called a few newspapers in my area and I said, okay, hey, I'm from here, I'm doing a pageant, um, are you interested in an interview with me? And I got an interview with them and I was in the newspapers. So they said that was uh, really nice to put yourself out there. So I just did, okay, I go for it now. So before the show, I prepared myself to eat a little bit more healthy, not too healthy. I always eat <laughs> some sweets and that kind of things. So then it was the big day of the pageant. It was a really nice day. We went to a hotel and they picked us up with a big limousine. And I was never sit in a limousine before and it was such a fun time with music, drinks and it was so nice to be with all girls together. After we went to the big stage and we practiced our dances, the routines for the uh, bikini round, the opening dance and yes, it was a really nice day overall. We went to hair and makeup and um, the dress fitting. So I remember before I was going on stage, I was so nervous. I was just, my heart was pounding in my chest. I was just saying to myself, okay, you can do it. Just go over it. I was praying. So it was the opening round. The dance went really well because I love to dance. After the opening dance, everyone was introduced themselves to the jurors. Um, uh, what's your name, age, uh, what school do you went to? After that we had the swimsuit competition which um, I was the most nervous for I think. They separate us in different groups and all groups had a different song and dance routine on it. I was with two other girls, just the three of us. So I was feeling, oh well, everyone is looking to us right now. We chosen a, a Latin Spanish dance, like a samba, and we had so much fun on stage. We had so much fun together and it was a really nice uh, time. So we went on stage, we did our dance routine and we walked down the runway, posed in front of the jurors, and yeah, everything went really well. Then after we was in our swimsuit, they announced the Miss Media. And the Miss Media is the one that did the most on social media, came in the newspapers, and that was me. So I was so honored that I became Miss Media 2013. I didn't expect it at all because I was not the only one that was busy with social media and uh, newspapers. But yeah, I became Miss Media and I was so shocked and uh, grateful and happy everything at the same time. I got this beautiful crown and this sherp that I still have. It was really so nice. Everyone was applauding for me and I was feeling like a queen. Then after the announcement of who was Miss Media, they went to the gala round and I had a really nice and long black dress. The gala round is a lot more chilled and quiet. You just walk really elegant on the stage and pose again in front of the juries and you stayed in on the stage while everyone was walking. It was really nice to see everyone's dress. The girls were all so gorgeous and it was a really nice um, atmosphere to be all together. Then after the gala round they announced the winners and unfortunately I was not the winner. But I have to say I was a little bit disappointed at the time. But looking back to it I'm so happy that I did it and that I became Miss Media which was also a really nice honor. Would I do it again? 
Yes, I think so. It was helped me with my self-esteem. It was a really nice time with all the girls. We make a lot of friends. If you are passionate about something, I think you just have to do it. Something about the pageants that I would like to change. And of course, if you have a different opinion, um, feel free to share it. This is my opinion and um, also respect that. But I think in the pageant world, there can be a little bit more variety about body shapes. I think not everyone has to be a certain size. If you are thin, a little bit more curvy, I think it doesn't matter. If you feel great in your skin and you want to enter a pageant, then go for it. Please let me know what you think about the pageants. Did you ever enter a pageant or would you like to? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.